gentlemen coming to you today from the Windy City, otherwise known as Chicago, Illinois. So grateful to be able to continue this um, journey of courage. And I, I recognize today that even though our demographic here consists of a lot of military men who are so grateful for uh, your service, uh, there is also a big swath of guys on here that don't know what it means to have courage in a battle, uh, but there certainly exist many opportunities to demonstrate courage. And so the Bible is actually chocked full of examples, and I want to call this uh, example the courage of conviction. Um, uh, the Webster's Dictionary uh, states that conviction is defined as a strong persuasion or belief, and it's the state of being convinced. There's the example of Paul is uh, probably the prime example of what it looks like to live a life of conviction. In his early days, he was all about persecuting the church because he was following the law um, to the letter. And But once he had this incredible conversion experience, this transformational experience on the road with the light and he went blind the whole nine, uh, you can read up on the story of, of Paul's transformation. But the point is, his conviction changed so much that all he wanted to do was to serve Jesus and to tell everybody about him, introduce them to him and, and his way. And so there's a lot of other examples in there. We uh, posted yesterday about Ezra, about uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, my namesake, Shadrach. So I'm a little partial to that one. Uh, but their their courage of conviction, we talk about, you know, after Jesus came and uh, you know, it's in Christ that we're able to do this. And so when he ascended, you know, the disciples went out and they set the world on fire. They turned it upside down. But Peter and John constantly were saying, hey, should we obey you, man, or should we obey God who told us, you know, this is what we're to do and to preach the name of Jesus. So, uh, you know, there's lots of things that we need to take up and there's lots of things we need to stand firm for. But just recognize that this courage of conviction is just as much a demonstration of courage as the man on the battlefield. And so I implore you to do the thing that God's told you to do. Walk out that courage and, and see it through.